Hello everyone, this is Vabhav Sharma and in this video I'll be giving you an overview of the hardware in the Samsung Galaxy S. The first thing that you notice when you hold the Galaxy S in your hand is how thin it actually is. It is incredibly thin for a device this powerful. It packs a 1 GHz Hummingbird processor, 512 MB of RAM. It also has a 1500 mAh battery so you can keep going throughout the day. And in terms of sheer specification, this is one of the most specced Android devices in the market today. In fact, uh, it even beats the Nexus One running Froyo when it comes to benchmarks uh, once it has been tweaked a little bit. To give you a better, of, better idea of how thin it actually is, I've stacked it against the Nokia N900, the N97 and the E52. And one of the reasons for this is this gorgeous Super AMOLED display that Samsung has put in this device. Uh, because of the fact that this is Super AMOLED, uh, they've been able to remove additional layers from the screen which were required in a touch device earlier. And uh, that is, uh, Super AMOLED is one of the reasons why this is so incredibly thin. Um, hardware wise, uh, it does feel just a little bit plasticky because of the back. Uh, but it is not too much of a deal breaker because the metal on the side and the gorgeous display more than make up for it. Uh, in terms of uh, the buttons that the Galaxy has packs, there is a menu button right in the front and then there is a dedicated back button in addition to a dedicated home key. Apart from that, uh, there is uh, no dedicated camera button but there is a power key on the left hand side uh, rather than on the top. The top packs uh, a 3.5 millimeter jack and a SP switch which you can pull back to reveal the USB port and then plug in your USB data cable or charger. And uh, the nice thing is that there, there are no dangling rubbers which might break and this really locks in place on the side and then you can pull it back and it again locks in place in the front. On the left hand side uh, we have the volume rocker and that's all that there is to the buttons on the Galaxy S. One of the things I liked about uh, the placement of the Sparky was that because of the fact that it's on the side, it easily doubles up as a lock switch instead of, of having to reach over to the, to the top of the screen and then having to push a button to lock. So, apart from that, there's no dedicated camera key on the Galaxy S, so you need to utilize the touch display in order to focus as well as take a picture. To give you an idea of how this works, you can tap a particular area on the screen to focus and then once the camera has focus, you need to tap this camera key to take a picture. Once you've done that, uh, you can simply exit and watch the picture in the gallery. In terms of what the phone has uh, on the back, there's a 5 megapixel camera but there is no dedicated flash, LED or xenon and uh, there is one mono speaker also on the back uh, which is not as loud as some of the other speakers that we've seen on uh, recent devices but uh, you won't really mi miss a call because of the speaker but if you're wanting to listen to music or uh, watch a movie with this loudspeaker I'm afraid to say this will not be sufficient. Another thing that will happen when you place the device on the floor is that the sound might get muffled. So that's that's another thing that you need to keep in mind when you're using the Galaxy S. Apart from that, if I were to sum up the hardware on the Galaxy S, I would still have to say that it is absolutely stunning. For the simple reason that everything flies when it comes to the software because this powerful hardware. We'll be talking more about the software in an upcoming video. But whatever uh, minuses that the hardware may pack, uh, the lack of a dedicated flash, uh, dual speakers, or stereo speakers, maybe even a dedicated lock switch and the plastic uh, feel on the back is more than made up uh, by the large beautiful 4 inch Super AMOLED display which is absolutely one of the best displays you will see on any device. So on a scale of uh, 1 to 10 I would have to give the Samsung Galaxy S 9 for the simple reason that this is not really a device meant for creation but more of a device for consumption and for that purpose it absolutely fulfills the ro role that it, uh, it had set out to fulfill.